This morning, a judge agrees the squatters have to go. Farazan Rahman went to court to get guests out of her Durham, North Carolina rental. I don't know if they vandalized the place or not. No idea. We'll only find out when they leave. Rahman, who spoke to Diane Wilson from our ABC-owned station WTVD, says the guests agreed to a long-term rental from October of last year until last month. But now they won't leave and haven't paid for several weeks. So she called the police and whoever answered the door promised they'd go. I assure you, we'll be gone in the morning if they can just give us until the morning. That's all I'm asking for so I can get our stuff packed up and, and we'll go. But they didn't leave. Instead, they left a note outside the door saying we will vacate the property when you have filed the proper paperwork with the civil magistrate for an eviction for we are legal residents of this home. They claim the checkout date is June 24th and were overcharged. Ramon denies that, went to court, and the guests did not show up. The judge granted summary ejectment, but it's not over yet. The guests have 10 days to appeal. Good that I was granted eviction, um, but um, the fact that I have to wait 10 more days to get them out is is a little frustrating. On their website, Airbnb warns hosts if a guest stays a month or longer, local tenancy laws could protect them and you may not be able to remove them from your property without proceeding through required eviction processes in court. Airbnb also released a statement saying issues like this are very rare on Airbnb and our team is continuing to work with our host to provide support. Ramon must now wait until June 25th to see if the guests will appeal. And if they don't, she can then file to have them removed. The homeowner says it was difficult to get Airbnb to acknowledge her issues, but they recently agreed to help with any damage, additional cleaning, and payment for the extra nights the guests stayed and did not pay.